Hey, this is Jay. Happy Zer Day. Happy Friday. How in the world are you guys doing? Zer is at the reef over here on this right hand side. And as we're heading back here, just want to remind you that I released my weekly nightfall video that I do with my son and some subscribers. So if you want to click on that, it will actually open up in a new window or you can check out the video description for a link to that. But here is Zer. Let's see. Uh, okay. All right. So he's got a weapon and some armors. We'll go through these. All right. Crest of Alpha Loopy. This, of course, for your Titan. And you get Keeper of the Pack, Revive Fallen Teammates, and you revive faster. Supers generate an extra orb. And uh, I like this more for PvP than PvE. Uh, generating an extra orb is nice for PvP, but the revive just don't find that as much. But uh, in PvP, being revived faster, that's going to come in handy. Generating an extra orb, that's going to come in handy. But increased intellect, increased discipline. Got auto rifle ammo. Excuse me. Shotgun ammo, I like the shotgun ammo. There we go. And then we've got arc recovery <clears throat> and arc armor. So think about this, you know, whenever you're using your bubble, instead of generating two orbs, you're gonna generate three orbs. So it can come in handy. So like I said, if you're a PVP player, you might wanna pick this up. Uh, not so great for PVE. It's kind of boring all around, uh, but not too bad. Young Ahamakara's Spine for the Hunter. You get uh, increased trip mine grenade duration and gain an additional trip mine grenade charge. So I like this of this, of course, for the Gunslinger. I like this more for PvP than PvE because uh, I don't usually depend on grenades as much in PvE. But increased discipline, increased strength. We got fastball, increased grenade throw distance, and then momentum transfer. We've got uh, auto rifle loader and fusion rifle loader. So if you're a PvP player, probably want to pick this up. It can come in handy having that extra grenade. Uh, PvE, not so much. But I tell you what, Challenge of Elders 2, when we were doing the grenade challenge, this is what I used. So uh, I think I did. Uh, but having that extra grenade, maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm thinking something else. But having an extra grenade in uh, Challenge of Elders when it's that could come in handy. But Heart of Praxic Fire, Praise the Sun, further decrease all ability cooldowns. Uh, while Radiance is active, greatly increased agility. So for the Sunsinger, uh, this can be a lot of fun. You can chuck some serious grenades, especially if your discipline is pretty darn high. But increased strength, increased intellect, scout rifle ammo, yeah, sniper rifle ammo, and we've got arc burn defense, and solar armor increased uh, armor when using a solar base subclass which is probably what you're going to use this for so if you're a both pvp and pv player this chess piece can really come in handy and be a lot of fun to use so i'd go ahead and pick this up for your warlock regardless of what you like to play all right and then here we go the suros regime man i wish you guys some of you guys are just year two players i wish you guys could have used the suros in year one because this thing was nasty field choke though linear compensator smart drift control we've got spinning up the longer this weapon fires the faster it fires um, useful in certain circumstances and focus fire when zoomed this weapon fires slower causes additional damage we've got the suros legacy bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health and we've got hammer forged and lightweight so like i said um for both pve and pvp this thing is a oh, just not a great comparison to the year one version year one version was awesome both pve and pvp year two version just not so much i mean buy this if you're a collector and you don't have it um if you're short on chain coins i hate to say this but the suros just isn't uh, what it used to be and it's just not that great uh, you feel free to disagree with me especially if you're a pvp player or pve player let me know where i'm going wrong but it's just not um, the greatest option. If you're playing PvP, there just seems to be better options out there for the different roles. Like if you're at a distance, scout rifles are wrecking. If you're up close, hand cannons are wrecking. And medium range, I don't know, there's just better auto rifles out there. That's my opinion though. But we've got Legacy Engrams. Remember, if you buy a year one version, like you, if you were to buy the year one version of the Suros right here, you could then, or if you got the year one version, you could go ahead and use your marks to buy the year two version. So the only reason that you want to use this to buy Legacy Engrams is just to be able to get the year two version, in my opinion, because you're spending an extra amount for those strange coins. And then we've got Glass Needles. This will let you re-roll the stat roll of these uh, things right here. Like if you didn't like that discipline and strength or intellect and discipline or intellect roll, you could re-roll those with the glass needles. And I don't know, uh, you probably wouldn't want to, to though. 
uh, for any of these. But yeah, pick up a couple of these just in case you get something that drops that you don't like the roll on it. But three of coins, I'm gonna go ahead and pick some of these up. Remember, anytime you're facing an ultra or playing in a PVP match, you pop one of these and um, you have a chance to gain an exotic at the end of that. And if you don't gain the exotic or get the exotic to drop for you, you just pop another one the next time and you get a greater chance. Just don't use more than one of these at a time. But we've got heavy ammo cakes and of course upgrades for your sparrow. And then you can trade in two strange coins for one mode of life. But that is what Xur has to offer. If you wanna check out my other videos this week, I did uh, an Iron Banner rank five video where I showed what I got in for hitting rank five and also some plays, some funny plays, some uh, not so funny plays in that Iron Banner. So check that out. And also too, our weekly challenge of elders uh, is a video right there you can click on and those will all open up in new windows but that is what like i said zero has to offer let me know what you're picking up let me know what you have planned for this weekend this weekend is my wife and i our anniversary 12 years so i'm excited the kids are going to the grandparents and we're just gonna um, hang out together and probably go to a nice restaurant on saturday and just go out shopping and uh, do some fun things together probably go and see a movie I really want to see Captain America's new movie Civil War <laughs> but I think I'm going to not do that and wait till my kids are back maybe go see that on Sunday I don't know if I can see two movies in one weekend but might go see a different type of movie for my wife uh, maybe one that she's interested in more but that's what I've got going on this weekend also too just wanted to let you know that um, we have a new website out called sacredgaming.com if you're interested, we are a Christian gaming group, uh, but non-Christians are more than welcome there. We just created this, so check it out. Let me know what you guys think about it and come out and hang out with us. But that's where I'm going to end this, man. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. As always, take care and God bless.